the British Hairdressing Awards is the Oscars of hairdressing and has been something that I've really, really wanted to do uh, all my career. And I was nominated for the award uh, six times and I finally won it last year and it was the most amazing thing. And, and it is, it's, it's every hairdresser's dream to win it. So this is just the start, I want to win more now. The North Eastern Hairdresser of the Year is based in Newcastle. This dream began at a very early age. About the age of 14, uh, I got a shop in a, 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 a job in a barber's and they took me to a competition and I saw amazing work being done by all these other hairdressers. Like any other career, this has pros and cons. Best thing is uh, pleasing people. Somebody who's maybe having a bad time, you do the hair, they go out the door smiling and laughing. It's one of the best aspects of it. The worst, sometimes the general public tend to be quite insane. Uh, that's bad. And then also sometimes staff. In Newcastle, girls like to look very glamorous. And I think a, a Newcastle girl will go all out to look gorgeous on a Tuesday night just as much as she would on a Saturday night. So I think glamour is definitely a big, big part of Newcastle scene. Marcus, tell us about your future. See doing more, more, more sort of stage work, so more international work, more, more, more things abroad. Uh, I've done quite a bit now, but I see myself going more into that kind of role of things. And also training role as well and developing more of the staff and younger people. Here is a little secret, Marcus is also the artistic director for Matrix High Dressing Shows. I'm going to go from here tonight to Leeds to do a show in Leeds, then from Leeds to Manchester and do a show in Manchester and then come back a 9.30 appointment in the salon on Thursday morning. We're doing a travelling tour called Revolution up and down the country. Um, tonight we're in Newcastle, we're expecting about 200 people, so really, really good event. Um, the idea of this event is showing off bold and the revolution of hair colour and hairstyles. We're going to prep the models first now, so backstage we're going to prep them. Uh, we're going to cut a very straight, sharp line around. We've got a great model here, loads of hair. Uh, so we're going to have a bit of fun with it, loads of disconnection very sharp edges, that's what today's show is all about. It's quite a long process, it's not a, it's not a salon process, yeah? You know, when you come in for 45 minutes and go again. I love cutting hair, I love cutting hair. And it's just a passion, I've been hairdressing since I was 14. And the passion's never left us, you know? Never ever left me. Well, judging by how you talk to the camera, you must be very used to the stage. I get nervous just like everybody does on stage, but I push myself to do things like this because it, it helps. It makes me do something else. It makes me do something that I'm not comfortable with doing, you know? So it keeps it exciting. <laughs>